Alright, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Pixelmon Legend, aka trying to catch every Pokemon in Pixelmon. Now before I get started, um, today and this video is starting, we're going to kind of change this series a bit. We're going to change the tone of everything. Um, the thing is, my goal of this series is to catch every single Pokemon. Um, and I realized in my first video, you know, I was kind of, you know, I cut out a lot of the boring stuff, but either way, it was kind of a more boring tone, I think. Um... And I did things a lot slow, like, pretty slow, and I wasn't catching a lot of Pokemon. I think the tone needs to shift. You know, I'm not here to just rush through things, but I'm also not here just to take my sweet time. I want to actually finish this um, and get as close as possible, and hopefully uh, we can catch every single Pokemon uh, available to us. Um, you know, we'll see at the end, like, close to the end what that looks like. Now, um, I don't want to yap too much, but the yapping I need to do is at the end of this video or well i guess maybe somewhere in the middle um is going to be clips from um a session that i recorded um last night so like i said i want this to be more fast paced i want it to be more entertaining more fun i want to focus more on catching pokemon even just a, a simple mareep anything that we haven't caught we're going to focus on catching um we're still going to play minecraft we're still going to you know build stuff play the game but we're going to kind of pick the pace up a little bit now i recorded some stuff um, it was kind of a pace that I didn't like, like I said, a video that I'm not really a fan of. It also wasn't finished. I still plan to finish it tonight, but instead I think I'm going to switch it up. Holy shit, that is a big Mareep. Oh my god. Something about this area, that Raticate that was gigantic was somewhere around here. This area, there's something about these Pokemon. They're being fed something. I don't know what it is. Maybe they're eating each other. Like, maybe these Mareep are all just eating each other. I don't know, but this Mareep is gigantic and I need to go catch it. Holy crap. That is one thick ass Mareep. It's literally the same size as that. Oh my god, it just jumped on my Oh my god, it tried to kill me. Oh my Did you guys see that? That Mareep just tried to jump on my head and kill me. It's so big that I mean, I'm surprised I didn't my character didn't take damage. Oh my god, I might have just killed it. I killed it. That was I forgot my croc and I was that high of a level. Well, you know what, we're going to keep this white wool in memory of that gigantic Mareep that jumped on my head and tried to kill me. Um, maybe we'll put it in like an item frame. Uh, I'm not going to completely get rid of the um, clips that I recorded because I ended up exploring that city from episode 1, if you guys watched that. Um, at the end of episode 1, I showed you guys, ooh, an Abra. I showed you guys, okay, never mind. <laughs> um, I showed you guys that city and then I said, oh, we'll explore it and I did so I don't want to completely get rid of all the clips and there were a few interesting things um, That happened uh, So at the end or like I said in the middle of this video You'll see clips from that and that'll kind of be the end of that. Um, I also considered deleting the first episode of the series um, But I think it's a good start uh, We'll see how it goes, but I think I'm gonna keep that up. This will still be episode 2 and then uh, you'll see some excess clips at the end uh, that maybe aren't as entertaining, but it shows kind of what I was doing and the journey I went on. Some of the Pokemon, as you can see, I have a Maractus, and um, I just have a lot of extra stuff. I don't think we've caught a rat, uh, Ratata. Um, we've caught a Raticate, so we're actually going to try to catch this. But um, we do need to level up our Pokemon um, a lot, and the reason for that is if I find a rare Pokemon or if I find a shiny um, obviously legendaries you could say, but I'm not too worried about that. Yes, they're cool, but that's obviously supposed to be endgame. Um, but yeah, if we find, like, a shiny or something cool, we don't have any Master Balls, um, or anything like that. So, if our Pokemon are too low of a level, and, like, say we find a level 40 shiny or something like that, you know, we're kind of screwed. Okay, well, I don't even have a house yet, but ne next to my bed, we have the item frame with the wool from the really big Mareep that I accidentally murdered on that day. I mean, it tried to kill me first, it tried to stomp on my head, but I was still going to add it to my party or my team. So, every night I go to sleep, I can look up at that piece of wool. I'm pretty sure it's our only piece of wool right now in the world. And as we get swarmed by a bunch of Golbats, we can all say one final prayer to that gigantic Mareep. He would have been best friends with our big Raticate. In fact, let's send the Raticate out so we can take a look at the Mareep. Well, the Mareep wool. I don't know, I wish I could have compared them. I should have, because... Yeah, I mean, this Raticate's huge. I don't know which one's bigger. Um, we're comparing sizes. I love comparing sizes a lot. Now, if you press I, it opens up the Pokedex. Now, I'm not going to scroll through the whole thing, but I've caught 17 and seen 57, which means other than maybe a few high levels, 
Um, we should have caught a lot more. Um, I don't know if I'm going to catch this Lanoon or not, but I want to fight it. Um, like I said, I do need XP. Um, so we're going to kind of go on a journey right now and uh, level up, but at the same time catch stuff that we can. And uh, yeah, I think that's I think that's a good plan. This is a great ball. It's kind of a high level. Um, for some reason, we just tossed the great ball way over there. Nowhere close to anything that's happening. But um, And the Lanoon's right here. Oh, okay. We caught it. You know, That's definitely how that works. Wait a minute, what was that over here? What is this black thing? A Boldor, level 35. Wow. Oh my god. Why did four five Tauros just spawn right here? That's insane. Wow. And they're all oh, well, they're all decent levels. I did actually catch a Tauros. Um I don't remember if I put it on camera or not. But I did catch one, so we don't need to catch that. Um, to be honest. I don't know what to do with diamonds. I'm gonna save them. I think you know there could be they could be used in crafting here. Um, when I say I don't know what to do with diamonds, I mean I know what diamonds are for. Um, I just mean in the mod. I don't know exactly. Maybe there's something that we can use. Um, I think we had to use a diamond for this. Basically, is what I'm saying. Anyways, let's go ahead and make a diamond pickaxe. I think um, just because there's still gonna be a lot of mining and we might need obsidian too to go to the Nether and whatnot. So. We'll do that. Now, we've never caught a Stuffle, level 10, so um, we're either going to catch this or f or beat it. Only problem is Magikarp only knows Tackle, and even though it's a f it's a, obviously a physical move that can hit, I don't think Magikarp's stats are going to be good enough. You know what? Just for the sake of the video and for testing, we'll, we'll... Oh my god, a critical hit. Even a critical hit did nothing. So, there you go. Um, Stuffle actually might have an ability... Um, where physical attacks do less, but nonetheless, Magikarp isn't strong anyways, so because it's perfectly weak, we'll just go ahead and try to catch it. I think that's a good way of doing things. If we accidentally make it faint, it's okay. Now, to be fair, I don't know how rare certain Pokemon are. Like, I've seen, I think, a few Stuffles, but not a lot. So, like, I don't know exactly how rare certain ones are. Now, obviously, if I see one that I've just never seen before, I'm going to already just consider it rare. Um, but I'm still new to the mod. Well, new nowadays. Let's also go ahead, for now I'm going to put my Teddy Urso away. Um, I want to level it up, but it just, it's going to take some time. Um, I forgot that we can also check in on all the Pokemon we caught and see what their um, IVs are and also if they have any marks, stuff like that. So we're going to go ahead and check that out. Okay, so Rattata has no marks and it's small. Um, it has actually a pretty good nature. Uh, because Radita or Radicate needs to be fast since it's a physical attacker, so, and special attack means nothing. So, pretty good nature. I don't think I'm going to use it. We already have our gigantic Radicate, um, that rules the world, so, uh, but, you know, cool. Let's see. Okay, so Galarian Lanoon, um, has no marks, and is a dark, is that normal? I think normal, dark. It has Pygmy, which is the smallest, I think, which it was pretty small, um, has decent stats, pretty fast Pokemon actually, but I mean it's level 21, which is probably why it has good stats. But I'm gonna put that away, and then Stuffle is. You know what? We never check the IVs. Uh, let's check the IVs out actually. So Stuffle, no marks as well. It's fighting and normal. It's enormous growth, really. Okay, so it's not very big. So I guess most Stuffles must be on the smaller side. Um. So let's check the IVs for... What was that sound? I don't know. Um, so let's check the IVs. IVs 3. Okay, kind of average. Um, IVs 5. Average IV 6. Pretty average, okay. Um, like, they're not that bad, but if they were, like, astounding, then it would be, you know, worthy, worthy of noting. Um, so let's go ahead and get our... Uh, for now, we're just going to kind of get our higher level Pokemon. I mean, we we do still want to train. You know what? Let's add Jilbert to the team just because it's a high level. I could do the same with Lanoon, but I like Maractus' moveset. In fact, I actually replaced Tauros, uh, but I like Maractus' moveset, and I like the idea of having a grass Pokemon. We got it to 5% health, so I'm thinking again we try to catch it just based on that. Um, it's pretty weak, so let's use a Pokeball. Um, we don't have as many Pokeballs or just, you know balls in general to use as I thought, but it'll be fine. 
So it's a cent. What is it? Center it, right? Boss. Um. Yeah. Well, I mean, let's try it just for the sake of the video for content. Level forty three. So I think there's only. I think there's only uncommon. I don't think there's common bosses. There might be. Um. But yeah. So it looks like we can't do this. Let's see if we can run away just for the sake of. Yeah, we can't do that. Um. Unfortunately, we just are twenty levels lower across the board. Um, let's go ahead and catch the small of I almost accidentally thought. Um, we have some quick balls. Let's go ahead and use it on the small of. Okay, let's check. We have a bunch of repeat balls. Repeat balls are almost worthless for what we're trying to do. Um, unless I find some Pokemon I specifically want to hunt. Which, uh, repeat balls, by the way, um, just increase the odds a lot for Pokemon you've already caught. That's bad for us because obviously we're trying to catch all the Pokemon we've never caught before. So... But anyways, let's use a quick ball, which is good for, like, the first few turns of battle. Um, if not, we're going to have to switch to Magikarp. I don't think Magikarp would kill. But I don't know. For sure. Okay. Um, we got it. I'm not going to check the PC every single time we capture Pokemon. We'll do it after a few. Um, there is a random guy walking around, too, which is creepy. But we're going to go ahead and try to catch this. So, Rog and Rolla does not have any mark. Um... It has sturdy, it's huge, and it has a really bad nature because defense is probably its best stat, which is now 10% worse, and speed is probably, if not its worst, which is 10% better, which doesn't matter, so not the best there, but um, I think it's, what, three? And it has really bad IVs, so, you know, we're going to send you back to the trash where you belong. Uh, okay, next. <laughs> um, Pitto, does it have a mark? It doesn't. It has super luck. Whoa. Boost the critical hit ratio moves. That's really good. I didn't know that was a thing. Interesting. I wonder, I mean, honestly, I don't know what, like, certain Pokemon's hidden abilities are. It seems pretty good, though. Um, and it's ordinary growth. Uh, I guess we can make it a special attacker, but it's worse there. I don't know. It's only level 6. I think we'll go ahead and, and leave it in the trash as well. Not really, obviously, but um, IVs are okay. The special attack ivs it has really good speed i'm honestly it's kind of viable as like a attacker with its with its um ability um i don't know well that's it's not bad we'll consider that um next small of no marks and it's a giant small of okay jolly nature um, I feel like it would probably be a special attacker, so that's probably a bad nature. Um, so let's just check out the IVs. I think it's, what, 5? Nope, not 45. 5. And it's really, really bad. Okay, welcome to the box. And then Voltorb. Um, I was going to check the IVs first. I guess we'll do it in this order. Um, no marks. It's number 100, apparently, in the Pokedex, so there's that. And it's Ordinary Growth with a nature that doesn't really matter. It's not terrible, though. And I believe it's 6. And it has pretty average IVs. It has 31 speed, which is really good for Voltorb. I believe that's its best stat. Um, other than the defense IV, it's not bad for IVs. Um, we don't have an electric Pokemon. But for now... Um... For now, we'll put it back in the box. I mean, honestly, don't I don't mind it. I don't hate it. Um, I think what was it the um, Pitto and that one are some of my favorites based on the stats and whatnot. But we'll keep these six and we'll keep rolling. Oh, it's really cute. There's a bunch of Magikarp in here, and it's like that's the mom. And these are all the little babies. They were like lined up. That was really cute. Level fifteen, I think, which means and there's another big ass rat. I don't know if it's the same. You know what? Let's compare. You know how I love comparing sizes. You guys know that. I'm the size comparison king. Um, it's pretty close. In fact, it might be the same. It might be another ginormous rat. It's really hard to tell. They don't want to fight, but they also don't want to talk. They just want to ignore each other. And now we're fighting. I forgot. That's how that works. Um, I would say they're the same. I think, uh, I think my gigantic Raticate has met his match. Um, and mine's male and that's female. Okay. We're gonna have to catch this. Hopefully we don't kill it. And you know what that means? Wife and husband. And I think we can get them to breed and just make big rats. Um, like, look at the tail. I mean, honestly, it's it's just gross. Like, just it reminds me of rats in real life that have big tails.
Tails like that. I mean, I know this is a rat Pokemon, but it's just... It's sickening to see it this up close. Um, okay, let's... Uh, I should have used Hyper Fang, but sure. Oh my god, that Redicate is Swords Dance? What in the world? That's crazy. Um, it's gonna... It's gonna go ahead and assert its dominance. I think my, uh, my Raticate, yeah. And a critical hit, my Raticate is going to get pegged in the bedroom. Uh, I'm thinking the dominant one might be the female, but it's it's neck and neck right now. Let's try to catch it before my Raticate gets pegged. Uh, right now my Raticate's getting bent over. I think the dominance is being asserted, but I'm gonna go ahead and step in and help. I don't wanna be in between these two in the bedroom, but in the Pokemon battle, I'm gonna go ahead and step in and we got it. So it looks like um, Eradicate's ass is saved. So let's go ahead and take a look at its stats. Um, I mean, like I said, this general field area just happens to have really big Pokemon. So it's not surprising. I think it's, what, 5? Yeah. 70%. Special attack, 31. Special defense, 31. Um, okay. So the thing about this is Eradicate's not really a special attacker. It's a physical attacker. Still has pretty decent... Um, attack IVs. Also, it's supposed to be a little bit speedy as zero, which sucks because it would have been really good if it had something above zero. Um, that's interesting. Let's also check if it has any marks. Um, it does not. would have been kind of cool if it did. Um, and it is enormous. It's, um, nature isn't the best. It does raise that speed stat, which is pretty bad. But then you negate the attack stat even further, which is not what you want. Um, but that's, that's okay. Okay, so I don't know much about Fido. Um, it's apparently like a newer Pokemon. It's a fairy Pokemon. Um, this image is pretty cursed. Um, it looks like it could either be some kind of monkey or ram, or it could be a cinnamon roll. I really don't know. Um, it literally looks like a, just a cinnamon roll. Anyways, uh, it has cluts, so it can't use hell items. Great, that's awesome. Has no marks, and uh, it's enormous, which is interesting. So, there's that. Um, I'm guessing its evolution, if it evolves, is probably a lot better. But, um, I think the last thing I want to do is try to see the Pokedex entry for Fido. Looking at the Pokedex entry, this Pokemon is smooth and moist to the touch? Ew, what is that? Yeast in Fido's breath induces fermentation in the Pokemon's vicinity. Wait a minute, is this actually supposed to look like a cinnamon roll or like bread? Because yeast and fermenting, isn't that how you make bread? Okay, so apparently, I thought I was just making a big joke, but apparently this is just a Pokemon that's supposed to be like a big cinnamon roll or piece of bread. That's, uh, that's interesting. Either way, we're going to heal our Pokemon, and on that note, uh, I'm going to go ahead and let those clips that I recorded last night play for you guys. You can watch me explore the city, gather some uh, important stuff. Ooh, a Persian. Do we want to Let's see what level this is. Okay, that seems kind of high. Level 28. Um, we might be able to do it, but we'll leave it for another day. Um, but I, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I hope you guys stick around for this series. Um, it's obviously not going to maybe do as well uh, as other things, like I said in the first episode. But uh, the whole goal is just to have some fun. And I'm going to try to, like I said, speed this, speed this up. Um, hopefully just show the more important clips. And we're going to focus on catching all the Pokemon and just having a good time. Um, so if you guys enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe. Leave some comments. Let's have a discussion, like I said, in the, in the comments. Um, and hopefully you guys stick around for the series and we can just have some fun and hang out. Anyway, see you guys later. Peace. A Maractus. Um, only level 14. I think I want to catch the Maractus, actually. So, if you look at the map, here's the city. Um, I think these circular areas, um, at the very least, are like... I wouldn't say they're gyms, but they're areas where you can fight a few trainers. But they're usually high level, so I'm not really there yet. Um... And this is kind of like a normal, this looks like a normal Minecraft village right here. And then it leads into kind of an, a bigger industrial unit. Now what I am interested about in this village is it looks like, we haven't unlocked this part of the map, but it looks like each section kind of goes off um, near this lake, which is, we'll see what that looks like. That's That could be pretty cool looking. Um, but we'll start off by heading into this uh, Minecraft normal village looking area, and then we'll move on to the bigger city type of area. Um, there's a shopkeeper here, he sells um, TMs. Some of them are Galarian specific ones. I don't know if that means only Galarian Pokemon can have them or what. Um, and then these are the circular kind of areas where there's some like trainers. Um, I don't know if this is considered a gym or what this is. Honestly, I don't think it's a gym. It's just an area to battle. I don't really know about that, but we don't have a high enough level for that. And 
then there's usually these like little areas uh, with shopkeepers and NPCs, but they have like chests and things. I usually just take stuff from. I don't know how useful emeralds will be. Um, but yeah, and then I put random stuff that I don't want in there. But um, I think that city is kind of like an expansion that just added on to one of these. Um, oh my god, three diamonds in a chest. We literally went caving and found one diamond, and we just find three diamonds in a random chest. That's pretty cool. So, yeah, first of all, um, we're about done with the smaller vi village area, so we're going to move on to the bigger city. But in here, there's a display case with... I can't destroy it. Yeah, it's a display case that doesn't belong to, me, belong to me, but inside is a totodile. I'm not sure if it's a plushie or not, but I would hope that they don't just have a dead or an alive totodile just in a display case. There's also a zombie head, which is interesting considering there aren't any uh, actual mobs. And then she still sells packs. She sells a gym challenge booster pack. Um, so pretty interesting. We'll have to figure out how to fill up these essence jars and then try to open packs. I'll have to research what's going on with um, the TCG. They also sell, she sells a galaxy Rayquaza, which first of all, I don't know what that means or what it does. But Rayquaza is one of my favorite Pokemon, and it looks sick, so we'll have to remember that. There's also a PC. I don't think you can use it. Um, there's some more paintings, and there's a clock. There's some armor over there. There's all kinds of stuff. There's even, it looks like uh, maybe a card that we can take out of here, or like a pack. What is this? A deck holder with zero cards in it. But apparently you can put your cards in here, so I guess we'll keep that for later, just in case we get cards. Um, I think that's a breeder. We already have plenty. We'll keep it there for now. There's a book. TCG rule book. And then up here they have a Dynamax Charizard. I don't know how to get that, like, in my base, but I definitely want that. Um, we're gonna go ahead and go over there and see. Can I destroy it? And I can't right click it either. Yeah, I don't know. A Victini has spawned in a savannah biome. I don't even think I'm close to a savannah biome anyways. Actually, I might be, but a Victini is a legendary, um, so there's that. Now, yeah, we're in the bigger city area, so the frames are really low right now. Sorry about that. Um, there's still the procedural generation stuff that Minecraft's doing here. Now, what's really cool, like I said, is it this city kind of leads into the ocean. It looks really nice. Now, that's like a battle tower thing. If we get to the top... We can get a chest or something. It's not, like, um, exceptionally good. But we can get some stuff from there. The problem is, last time I went in there, they tried fighting me, so all my Pokemon might faint. Um, we'll look into that later, but I really like how it's just on a sandy island. And then you have, um, like, an ocean area. Like, this city kind of, like, leads into the ocean. Um, it's a really cool vibe. And the Victini spawned in the city. It's actually right here. Uh, that's interesting. So the Victini, the legendary, is actually right here in the city. It spawned right here, right where I was basically standing. Uh, for the sake of everything, I guess I'll try to catch it, because um, it's just here. Kind of just chilling with the citizens, I guess. It's just the Victini city. Uh, so let's try to catch it between the lag. I mean, it would be cool to catch, but at the same time, it's one of those things where, yeah, it's a level 70, and uh, we're not close to that. So I feel like legendaries are just kind of for something later. But I think it's pretty funny that it's just spawned in the city, just really right next to me. Well, there was a level 9 trainer around here. There's level 32 right there. Oh, there's level 9. Um, I'm going to go ahead and fight him. I really hope this is the right one. Uh, level 10 Pokemon, so we can beat him, get some XP, and hopefully get some kind of reward for beating him. I like how the fight... Where's the fight going on? Oh, here's the fight. I was going to say we're zoomed out somewhere. Technically, you can kind of see it. My Croconaut is on top of the chair, and the Grubbin's just on the ground, and both of us are staring at each other while our Pokemon destroy each other. Oh, so I won the battle. I got 16 Poké Dollars. Uh, so he only had a couple Pokemon. The last trainer I fought was like level, I don't even know, but he had six. So maybe it's random. And I personally haven't seen a way, or I just don't see a way to check um, how many Pokemon they have. But maybe there is a way and I'm just missing it. Now this chest has three diamonds. Um, so again, that's why I came in here. Yeah, so at the top of these towers, there's like a wooden sharpness five sword, a couple things that aren't really that important, and there's a move learner, I guess, maybe this is the reason you go to the top of the tower to relearn some moves. Um, I keep getting challenged, but I can forfeit, which is good. 
Uh, but yeah, it seems like there's not much of a reason to come here unless you want to do the, the movie burner. Um, that's what the full city looks like. I really like this one because it's on the side of like this ocean and then, you know, kind of like on this desert. And there's also this river that goes way over here. Um, it kind of stops there, I guess. Um, and it goes like this and um, it keeps going and then it goes through the desert which is really cool and then it goes out to the ocean so i really like that and i like this area in general and i think it's really cool and i think this area right here um is really cool and i might explore this making maybe a little base or house there i think our base yeah it's right there so if anything maybe i'll move my base over here closer to the city uh, the city has a lot of lag though so maybe here or here um, if anything that'll keep my my home there because it's a lot less lag also, I just noticed that north of my home is actually more uh, towns or cities. I didn't even notice, but look, there's extra stuff over there. Um, so, kind of interesting. And eventually we can go across the ocean. 